And financial analyst and founder of Wealth Hackers, Ben Gaonifade, is joining me via Skype from Kent, United Kingdom. Thank you so much for joining us on the news. The date to reopen some of our citadels of learning is still subject to review. Five months after other sectors of the economy were shot. This is progressively eating into our economy. What have been your concerns? Um, you know, well, first of all, I, I have to hope that you're keeping safe. But however, if, if you think about these things, we're looking at consumer behavior of all kinds, which has been altered as a result of this pandemic. Uh, there has to be moves to normalize and adapt as well. And number three, you know, we are facing these you know, new challenges. When, when this COVID hits, we are calling it the new normal. But I think after this economy, now we have to start thinking about the next normal. So, um, you know, there are a few things we have to deal with. And there's these two imperatives of lives and livelihoods. So lives have been affected by the same time livelihood you know are the key things which we have to talk about and uh, one thing i'm just going to take it back in history really if you think about it in 1929 uh, during the great depression the the economy shrunk by 8.5 percent i'm talking about the global economy in 2009 when we had the whole global global recession we call it the recession we had a the shrink in the economy of 2.5 percent but right now the global economy is shrunk 33 percent and i think right now it's very dangerous it's more dangerous than what people are thinking and no way it's safe rather no, no way it's safe you know a few things people have been talking about some people are talking about looking at the you know the the foreign equities which is united states but if you think about it as well what's actually been propping it up is the feds which have been printing you know trillions of dollars if, if you give me trillions of dollars i'm gonna have a big party so that's not exactly the safest place but you know some other people are looking at you know putting the money in gold are you saying gold is the safest uh, i'm not too sure because what does it do it will just store the value and now people are looking at cryptocurrency so um again would you say that's that, that that's the safest way you don't no, because that's really an unregulated place. So no way is safe by the media, right. I'm sorry. Right. Uh, we're actually looking at all of these, uh, you know, in context of uh, the Nigerian economy. Uh, if you, for instance, look at bars, lounges, spas and places of entertainment remain closed for now. As a matter of fact, the challenging economy is also becoming clearly visible as we approach the end of the age of crude oil. What would you suggest as the exit strategy? Because the world can't be on standstill for long. Absolutely, absolutely. Like I said again, so once I think one of the key things we need to think about is, you know, if we look at the, the, the near zero countries, like they call them, they've actually been very successful in dealing with this pandemic. And those people now, if you compare them to countries who have actually struggled with dealing with the pandemic, you know, Nigeria, for example, which is, uh, you know, still dealing with death uh, at, the, at the daily rate, we've had, a, you know, a 40 percent lower rate sorry, lower growth compared to this near zeros. Come. So we're looking at the balancing act and what we need to do. And of course, I think the first thing we need to do is gradual reopening of the economy, while on the other front, keep fighting that COVID. And of course, like, you know, one of your, one of your reporters have said, there has to be a, a, a key focus on reinvesting in the infrastructures. Absolutely, I believe that too. Well, uh, anything uh, to go by, it, it, should we still be very optimistic that um, we'll definitely find a, you know, a, a better ground at the end of the day? Um, honestly, th th there's no saviour right now. Everybody's looking for saviour, which is why I think I was a bit forward there when I mentioned people talking about where they can put their money. But there's no saviour. I think what, one of the things we need to think about is, number one, what's, what's, what gets the economy going is the people. So we need to... We need to uh, come together as a collective and that's the only way we can drive this economy forward so come together whatever we think can can stem or flatten the curve like they, like like they say try as, as much as possible to get together flatten that curve make ourselves safer and then when the economy reopens the the, the future effects will not be as felt as much all right um financial analyst and founder wealth hackers Ben Gonifadi, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts on tvc news